Hi, welcome to On The Daily Season 2, a podcast focusing on authentic and acoustic entrepreneurship. My name is Danielle McCleary. I am your host. Y'all, I just left a nine-year fitness career to pursue full-time entrepreneurship, so I am in the trenches with you, but I got big dreams of being a millionaire and helping other people to become millionaires as well. So together, we're going from stuck to unstoppable, and I'm so excited that you're here for this ride. Let's freaking go. Hello on the Daily Family. Welcome back to the show. This is Danielle, your host. Y'all, we have a full moon coming tomorrow. It is called the cold moon. It's a full moon in Gemini. So I'm really excited to tell you all about that because it is a really, really good moon, especially if you have been trying to get into action lately, or if there's anything in your life that you're like really trying to make happen, this is going to be the time that you want to do it. So I'm going to talk about that. And I'm going to talk a little bit about like the season and just like the beautiful complexities of being human and kind of an aha that I had about that over the last few days. But before we get into all of that, I have to tell you the second round of the quantum leap is enrolling now. The quantum leap is a mastermind. It's a 12 week mastermind. And this mastermind is for people who are looking to join high level close proximity spaces. So it is one of my highest proximity containers because you do get access to me one-on-one, but then you also get access to everybody else that's in the mastermind with you. Um, we have access to a Voxer group where we can you know, be in there throughout the week. And then there's also weekly calls that you know, are more of like a hot seat coaching with me. And I just think masterminds are so powerful because it's so rare to have spaces where you can truly speak the way you want to speak and you can show up the way you want to show up. And there's a whole bunch of people that are showing up in the same way. And there's a whole bunch of people that just want to be better. And that is what a mastermind is. It is truly like a place where time collapses. So what would normally take people, like I've seen the craziest stuff happen inside of this mastermind container, like in, in the last round of the quantum leap, like somebody legit, one of the the clients in there legit started a business full on launched an LLC, launched a retreat, like fully executed a brand new business that she hadn't even thought of before the mastermind started. And then I had another client have her best month ever. She quadrupled her income with the, in the 12 weeks that she was in that container. I had people lose like 14 pounds, which like, it wasn't even about that for them, but like just letting go of all of these, like you know, weird beliefs and, you know, not stopping, stop ceasing the caring of what other people think, just like really you collapse time. And that's quite literally like what a quantum leap is. So it's a perfect thing to start in the beginning of the year. I myself am in my own mastermind as well. And I cannot say enough about masterminds. If you've never been in one, get in one. This one is really powerful and um, think high level, close proximity. There's no space to hide. Like you, it, what would normally take people like weeks, like, you know, when you have an issue and you just like sit on it for like a week and a half and you're like, oh yeah, maybe like I'll try to figure that out later. And then it like festers and, and, and gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And then before you know it, like you just feel so bad about yourself. Well, like when you're in a mastermind, that doesn't happen because the second you start to have a limiting belief, the second you start to have fear creep in, the second you start to have doubt creep in, you go to the mastermind space, you share it, and then you have all of these voices and all these incredible people to kind of like help you through it in real time so that you literally collapse the time it will take you to heal from things so that you can move on to your next level. Like it's the most powerful space ever. It's enrolling now. We have payment plans. We can pay per month. You can pay bi-weekly. You can pay in full. You can do whatever you want. Um, Lots of flexible pricing. So go ahead and click the link in the show notes if you want to register for that. You can always slide into my DMs at Danielle underscore on the daily to, you know, get more information on that as well. But the Quantum Leap Mastermind, cannot recommend it enough. If you're looking for massive growth in 2023 and you're just looking to like collapse the time it's going to take to get there, this mastermind is the space for you. So I hope that we see you in there. It would be so fun. And yeah. Second, my website is launching tomorrow. Brand new website, brand new branding, complete branding overhaul, brand new website. It is launching tomorrow and it is the most epic website I've ever seen in my entire life. And I just cannot believe it's mine. My friend, Carissa, who owns Soulbright Studios is creating it. She is 
one of the most talented humans I've ever met. Like she's one of those people. We had a meeting, like it was a two hour meeting, a brand strategy meeting where she asked me like what I thought were really random questions and what she was able to pull and extract from my brain. She literally put like me into a website. Wait till you see it. It's so beautiful. It's daniellemcleary.com. It'll be live tomorrow. Um, and that will take us right into the 12 days of D, which is the 12 days leading up to my birthday on December 20th. I'm going to give you all sorts of deals, all sorts of fun things, um, add-ons, uh, upgrade offers, different bundles. Like we're going to have a blast plus a brand new offer that is launching at the end of this month. So lots of things coming up, really excited. And I hope that I see you in one of these containers soon. Okay. The full moon in Gemini. It's the cold moon. It is December 7th. So it is tomorrow. It'll happen in the morning. So I guess like tonight leading into tomorrow, you're going to have the cold moon of December 2022. And this moon, you know that feeling like Willy Wonka in the chocolate factory, like Veruca Salt, who was like, I want it now, daddy. I want it now. That's kind of what this full moon is going to make you feel like. You're going to feel really impatient. Most of us are going to feel very impatient and you're going to like want whatever you're working towards. You're going to want it now. You're going to feel the pressure of it come in quick. Like you're going to really, really want all of these things that you've been putting on your manifestation list, your prayer list, anything that you've had in, on your intention during intention setting, you're going to see it like really bubble up and you're going to want it to happen immediately, which is like, you know, Gemini is a sign of like such duality where sometimes a Gemini is just chilling and then other times a Gemini, Gemini like goes bad shit crazy and like needs to switch something up. So it's that kind of like impulsive must move now energy, which is really, really powerful in Sagittarius season, because as I stated on a podcast last week, Sagittarius season is the perfect time to like really take a lot of those intentions that you had and like move them into action. And so this full moon is really going to kind of help you do that. So just, just prepare, <laughs> prepare for that. Um, it's also, so the, just don't be surprised either if the weather gets really cold at night in the, this full moon, cause it is a full cold moon for a reason. And it usually does coincide with like really cold temperatures in the evening. So if you're into cold weather, uh, tonight leading into tomorrow morning will be really good time for that. But this full moon, um, the reason why this full moon is a really good time to get into action is because this full moon is synced up with Mars, which Mars is the planet of action. So you're going to be really, you might be feeling really, really inspired to get out and like make shit happen. Um, but you're also, you, you also might be getting like really annoyed when things don't just magically happen in your ideal timeline. Like that might, those feelings might be bubbling up for you. So just know that all of that is happening. Um, and although impatience is not exactly like the best emotion to sit with, it can also encourage you to be the most productive version of yourself because you're going to be really fired up to tackle projects. You're going to be really fi fired up to like figure things out. You're going to be really fired up to, you know, prep for things. You're, it's kind of like this full moon really lights a fire under your ass in a way that you're going to be a little bit more direct with people. You're going to be a little bit more, you know, direct with yourself. Uh, you're going to say what you mean. You're going to mean what you say, and you're not really going to worry about like what anyone is thinking or if you're going to piss people off. So just know that when you're starting to feel these feelings over the next couple of days, that full moon energy is really powerful. And then that's going to carry you into the rest of December, which we kind of talked about last week, which means that like you're going to feel that fire under your ass. And then the rest of December is going to kind of put you into motion. And you know, I hear a lot of people be like, December, it's December. It's a slow season. Nobody's spending money. People are spending more money in December than they're spending any other time. So if you have a business and you sell something, this is the time to really like get your offer suite, like know what your product suite is, know what you're offering, know what your pricing is, offer in some incentives, like create a new program, like whatever you've been sitting on now is the time to do it. And you got to trust that like people are absolutely spending money right now. And if you harness all of that full moon in Gemini, energy plus all of the energy of Mars, you're going to feel that fly, that fire under your ass and you're really going to make it happen. So I hope that is helpful. The next full moon that comes is going to be the full moon in Cancer and that's a little bit more of an emotional moon. So use the power of the full moon in Gemini to like be 
like a little bit more cold blooded and just go for things and not worry about what other people are thinking. Use that energy and harness it wisely and you will have a very successful December. I can guarantee you that. So one of the things I wanted to talk about this month, just because I know so many people experience grief around the holidays or not that grief ever really goes away, but grief really is prominent in the holidays and around December. I know it is for me. And I was teaching a soul cycle class tonight and I was thinking about this and I was talking to my class about this. Like we come to this planet to have experiences. We chose to be on this planet at this time. And whether you believe that that was co-created by God or the universe or whatever, you believe you're here for a reason. And I believe that you at some point when you were co-creating your existence on this planet, you chose, I'm coming to earth now. And you chose to come here at this time in history. And I do believe that we came here to experience truly the complexity of what it means to be human. And so many people just, you know, they treat humanity like such a shallow thing or that, you know, there's there's only certain emotions that are accepted, but I just want you to really sit on this because this is really important to me that I came here. If I am a celestial being floating around and I chose to come and have a human experience right now, then I have to believe that I came here to feel all of it. I did not come here to just feel, you know, the feeling of you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars and millions of dollars entering my bank account. I did not just come here to feel like the ecstasy and the joy of, you know, having sex for the first time or like marrying the love of my life or, you know, having a child or, you know, becoming very successful or I, I didn't just come here for those emotions. Those are emotions are amazing. Absolutely. They're amazing. But I also came here to experience grief and I experienced came here to experience disappointment and I came here to experience anger and jealousy and frustration and rage and sorrow. And if that's true, which I believe it is, if you don't, that's okay. But who are we then to shy away from these emotions just because they start to get hard? You know, I, my dad died January 16th, 2021. So we're coming up on his two years and December is just weird now. I, I, I say to people, I can't, it's like you, you feel the sun, it's warm, but there's always something missing. And that's how I feel now about holidays. I love Christmas. I love December. My birthday's in December. I'm a Sagittarius. Like I love December. And there is still a heavy cloud over this month for me. That doesn't mean I'm not going to be massively successful in December. Like I fully believe that December will be my best month in my business ever. Um, and I still experience deep, deep sorrow when I think about the fact that I will not see my dad for Christmas and that my dad will never get to see my son open up another present again. And, you know, just there's so many things that are just no longer going to happen because he's not here. And my dad was a person, he was like the glue of our family, you know? So, but I, I do believe that I can't know what pure ecstasy feels like with, you know, pure joy, unless I know what true sorrow feels like. I can't truly understand how deeply I love my fiance and how deeply I love my son, unless I understand how hard I grieve the loss of my best friend. Like it sounds so weird to say this, but I fell so much deeper in love with Breezy when my dad died because I understood that I finally understood a deeper level of love because I was exper experiencing the greatest sorrow. And also, as crazy as this sounds, I'm so grateful for that. Now, if I had it my way, would I choose to have my dad back? You fucking betcha. <laughs> of course. And I know that there were certain lessons that I came here to learn at this time. For some reason, I chose to have the experience I am having for a reason. And maybe that's because of my past lives. Maybe that's a generational thing. Maybe I came here to finally break generational patterns. I don't know for sure. There's things I've figured out and things I've gotten insights on through like Kashuk record readings and, you know, 
learning about my past lives and all those things, but I don't, you, nobody really knows. There's so many, there's so much I don't know. There's things I feel deeply. I have a deep knowing about. And one of those things that I have a deep knowing about is that as people having a human experience, we are here to experience all of it, every single part of it. So the message in this is if you, wherever you're at, in your life, right? Wherever your business is, wherever your relationships are, wherever your self-love is, just take a second and remind yourself that you came here at this time in the history of existence. You chose this time to arrive on earth and you chose to come and experience the complexity of being a human being. And how freaking beautiful is it that being a human being means that you get to experience deep sorrow, anger, frustration, rage, disappointment, and you get to experience love, joy, gratitude, pride, at that ecstasy feeling of just being so incredibly happy. You came here and you get to experience all of that. And that, my friends, is the gift. That is the gift. And if you can't sit in that moment and you can't just really recognize what a gift it is that we get to we get to be here and experience all of these beautiful complexities of being human, then I'm sorry, you don't deserve the multi-million dollar business, then you don't deserve true love unless you're willing to experience all of it, unless you're willing to really sit and be grateful and understand what a gift the complexity of being human truly is. So if you're feeling grief this month and you're missing someone or you're feeling like you didn't do everything you wanted to do in December or in 2022, or if you're feeling like your relationships are not where you want them, A, use December to kick you into into gear toward the life that you want, and B, find gratitude in this lesson that you're learning now. Trust me, if I could have any wish, I would see my dad again. There's a scene in that Netflix movie, The Christmas Chronicles, where Teddy asks Santa, if he can like see his dad one more time. And like every time that gets me in such a deep part of my heart, I wish nothing more than to see my dad one more time. And I also know what true, no strings attached, can't eat, can't sleep over the fence world series kind of love feels like because I get the gift of feeling what absolute grief and sorrow feels like also. I do not get to experience the power of one unless I also experience the power of the other. And how beautiful is it that I get to be a human that experiences all of it. So I hope that gives you some inspiration. I hope that helps. If you are missing someone, I see you, I feel you, I understand. Trust me, I understand. And even if it feels like a little helpless helpless right now, it's gonna be okay. And there is a lesson you're meant to learn here. And when you learn it, you're going to come out on the other side and you're going to be like, fuck yes, I fucking did that. Me, I got through that. And how beautiful is it that I got to experience that? I got to experience that. I love you all. Have a beautiful full full moon tonight. If you have any candles, crystals, make sure you charge them, make sure you light your intention candle, all the things. If all of this feels way too woo-woo for you, thanks for listening anyway. I hope to see you inside of the Quantum Leap Mastermind. I really I really wish that people could be having the conversations that I have inside of these containers with clients and which my clients have with each other. Like I really wish that everybody could be having these conversations and it blows my mind that a majority of the population is not having these conversations. So if you wanna have these conversations, come on in. Come find me on Instagram, Danielle underscore on the daily. And as of tomorrow, you can go to my website, daniellemcleary.com, and you can see all the ways to work with me, all the ways to get a hold of me, all the things. I love you all. And I'll be back on Friday with another episode. Bye.